This next story is a special one that we're happy to share on Veterans Day. Richard Casper is a celebrated U.S. Marine who suffered a traumatic brain injury during combat in Iraq. At his lowest point of recovery, he decided to change his path and fight a different fight, one for his fellow brothers dealing with the after effects of war. Here is his incredible story. After 9-11, that's when I was a junior, um, I saw those towers fall and I just said, you know what, I want to be the first person overseas. Richard Casper joined the military at 17, ready to fight for his country. I went to Fallujah, Iraq um, in 2006, 2007 with first tanks. Within the first four months of me being in Iraq, my Humvee was blown up four separate times, uh, which led to a left traumatic brain injury. And then my buddy was shot and killed beside me. They said I wasn't allowed to work anymore. I was unfit for duty. When I transitioned back home, I didn't know anything was wrong with me. I knew I had migraines for like months straight. I went to college for business at this community college. That's where I found all my injuries. I, I started going to school and I started failing all my classes. And so that's when I knew there was an issue and when I was going downhill fast. And that's when I got diagnosed with my left traumatic brain injury, my PTSD. And so that's when I was even more down the dump. What I tell people is if zero was killing myself and a hundred was me before war, I was at a nine at my lowest point, And then I discovered art and music. But Richard found a creative way to fight through the depression. So I used to doodle all the time, I used to draw. How about I take, get an easy degree in art and that's what ended up changing my life, that decision, because in the art classes is where I actually learned how to tell my story without telling my story. And I said, you know what? I want to create a nonprofit out of this because I think so many veterans are going to benefit from telling their story. Taking matters into his own hands, he launched Creative Vets to offer support and relief to those who have sacrificed for our country. The program uses forms of arts to help veterans cope. If we can get this music out to the people, to the veterans, we're gonna save so many more veterans' lives just by them listening to our music, letting them know that they're not alone out there. I'm so excited about our next guest. He is a Purple Heart recipient and one of Time Magazine's Next Generation Leaders. Please give a hero's welcome to DBL, Richard Casper. Yes. yes. Thank hello, you, hello. thank you. <laughs> yes, okay, so first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us. and. Definitely thank you for your service. We celebrate veterans and their service every day, but especially on Veterans Day. So what does this day mean to you? In my world now, uh, every day is Veterans Day. And so this is just another one of those days that we really get to highlight and that the world's actually listening to us. Richard, we're thankful for you again. Amen. Thank you for your service. Could you tell us about the day in Iraq that changed your life? Yeah, well, I, multiple days changed my life. Uh, the major one was where my buddy was shot and killed beside me uh, on December 14th in 2006. But then on top of that, there was four other days where I, my Humvee was blown up. So I ended up with a left traumatic brain injury. But honestly, now that I look back on them, they're not blessings, but they are what started the process, which started my healing, which now heals a bunch of veterans through the process. So, you know, I'm going to ask you to take us there. You're, you're struggling with school and you're struggling with your healing, but then you discovered art therapy. Like, how did that save your life? So when I transitioned out of the Marine Corps, struggling not to be able to speak in front of people anymore, not be able to go to job interviews because my anxiety and depression were so bad, I thought maybe an art degree would be a cop out. But art 100 percent changed my life. So when was the moment that you decided to create Creative Ets? So I graduate from the school there in Chicago. I'm almost fully back to normal. I wrote a song in Nashville that helped me express what I was going through that way. So I have a song, I have my art, and I'm, I'm ready to tackle the world. And then I look back and I say, wait, is any other Marine or combat vet going to do what I just did? So then the next step, I started searching. Are there organizations that do this? There wasn't. There was nobody enrolling veterans into these art schools, bringing them to Nashville to write songs. And so I knew we had to do this. I love it, Richard. Tell us about this amazing collaboration with one of Nashville's biggest labels and country music stars. Oh my gosh, this has been a dream come true since we started. I remember my first board meeting say, could you imagine that we released veteran created music for veterans by veterans in which people could listen to this music. Royalties comes back to our organization to keep bringing veterans to do this. And the veteran who 
told their story gets money coming back to them to show that their, their story is important and it's worth something. So now by partnering with Big Machine Records and putting top tier artists on our songs, when a veteran's sitting at their home just looking for someone to connect with and they find a random song and it sounds like Justin Moore and they look at the artists and they say, wait, this is Creative Ed's featuring Justin Moore and they search us, they find out that we'll pay for their flights, their food, their housing wow. from anywhere in the country to us. We're legitimately reaching in the homes and pulling them out through these partnerships with Big Machine Records. Oh my you goodness. are a godsend, Richard. You truly <laughs> are. Some people are just born to serve. Right. I mean, you were serving in the military. Now you're serving and you're saving lives. Uh, I, I, it's an honor to meet you. Yes. And to our viewers out there, you can make a donation at creativevets.org. And the music is available across all major streaming platforms and digital retailers. We'll be right back. Thanks so much.